what's the difference between election in New Zealand versus election in Nigeria. So I'll be comparing these two election process. Comparing election in New Zealand to election in Nigeria, what are the key differences between these two election process? For starters, in New Zealand, voting starts before the election day. So in this 2023 election, general election, voting started two weeks before the election day. In Nigeria, election day is when your voting happens. You cannot vote before that day. Number two is the call where you vote, voting place here. In Nigeria, they call it pooling unit. Where you make your decision is called ballot paper in Nigeria. In New Zealand, they call it voting paper. See the differences? Now, the officers at the pooling unit also have different names. So for here in New Zealand, they are called issuing officers. While in Nigeria, you have three. No, actually four. Four. <laughs> you have the presiding officer, the one that issues the ballot paper. You have the assistant presiding officers. There are actually three assistant presiding officers. One of them does the verification where they will check. Then the other one does the inking. So when you go to vote, you have you'll be given an ink do ink your your recording bomb thumb <laughs> your thumb i think some people index finger no your thumb will be inked so the it's like gv color but i think it's a black marker they use so there's a presiding of assistant presiding officer for that and then there's another assistant presiding officer that takes care of the queue so that one is supposed to manage the queue so those are the officers that you see at the um pulling unit now, what's another difference? Um, oh, another difference is the election itself. So in New Zealand, everything happens during that two weeks and on the election day. So you have the party vote that takes care of everything national or federal, like we call it in Nigeria. And then you have the um, electoral vote that is just for your specific electorate. So in Nigeria, we have the federal one is the presidential and the senator state, yeah, senatorial um, election. So where you vote the president and the senators. And that happens on a different day, a different Saturday. Then the next one is the gubernatorial and the federal house of representatives. So that's the one that pertains to your state. In some cases they have the local government one but no we don't have local government elections again no we actually do we actually do so that's a different ball game on its own the main general election in nigeria you have the gubernatorial and the federal one comes first and then you now have the presidential and the senatorial one comes second different saturdays have nothing to do with each other okay so that's another difference but again even within those two sets of elections the election the voting happens on one day Oh, and another thing is here, you enroll online and then they post your easy votes pack to you. In Nigeria, you go to INEC to enroll and you go to pick up your voter's card. They don't post anything to you. That's another difference that we don't actually pay attention to, but it's a difference. Because New Zealand is like, you know, the indigenous people are Maori and then you have the rest of us, they have maori electorate and then they have the general electorate i don't really understand how that works i've not actually taken time to study it but that happens we can't really have it in nigeria because the whole of nigeria is diverse <laughs> so there's nobody one person that come out and say namige niger it can't happen otherwise you're starting problem something else is the debate so they have debate here in um, new zealand which is quite new to us in Nigeria. It's something recent. I think it was in the last election. Not this year's one. The one before or two elections ago that they started that thing. Yeah, they call it electoral roll. While in Nigeria it's called voters register. Nearly forgot this difference. <laughs> the main thing in itself, the voters card. In Nigeria they call it voters card. Here they call it easy vote card. Now the difference is here the card is paper. And it has your name, it has your address. I think that's all it has. Oh, and your um, electorate number and some other details that I didn't put to memory. In Nigeria, the card is plastic, you know, like a driver's license card. And it's got your picture, 
your name, your your electorate in name. Um, I think it has date of birth. Yeah, it has everything. So to the point that you can use your voter's card as an ID in Nigeria. But here, the Easy Vote card, you can use it as an, as an ID. Once you go for the election, they collect it from you and you don't get it back. But in Nigeria, you have your card till whenever the real owners collect it. That's when it gets missing or whatever. So that's another key difference that I've noticed. What else? Like mm. I said, when you read enroll to vote, they call it enroll to vote. In Nigeria, you call it register. I think that's why it's called voter register. And this one is called electoral roll. <laughs> when you enroll to vote, you are sent your easy vote card, your easy vote pack. And like I said in that other video, it has things that will help you with your election. The key one is it has the list of parties and the people that are going for election. I want to use the word competing so bad. <laughs> that are competing for the seat. I also listed. That's not, you don't have it in Nigeria. You don't have that in Nigeria. But at least you will know. BDP, APC, Labour, NNPC, oh, <laughs> NNPC, Jesus. You know all this one, just like here. Even with all the differences, we still agree on something that is called ballot box. At least we agree on that. Now the difference is in the ballot box. Nigeria ballot box is those um, plastic containers, you know, like system boxes, the plastic ones, the big ones. And then they'll have, the leads are usually green color and the body is plastic transparent. So that is our ballot box. And they are put at each of the station. Here in New Zealand, the ballot box is like, I don't know if you have seen some places they have this paper disposable bins. So it's like a um, box on the ground, paper. And then it's colored based on whether it is a Maori electorate or is a general electorate. So that is subtle difference in that. It's just the type of boxes that I use. But where you put your vote itself is called ballot box. The ballot paper, so that's the voting paper, is also different. So in the New Zealand one is an A4 and you have the party vote and the electoral vote and you fold it when you finish choosing whoever you want to choose and put it in the ballot box. Nigeria is a thin slip that is this very long and has the list of the parties that are going for whatever. And New Zealand, the voting itself, you would tick where you need to vote. Whoever you're voting for, there's a circle and you tick that circle. In Nigeria, you thumb print. You have to thumb print within the lines. If your thumb print sits on a line between the other parties, it's invalid, it's void. But here, you just tick in the circle. And they've made it such that even if you tick outside it, it doesn't get to the other the next parties or the next um best the next um candidate line except you you really <laughs> really stretched out your hand then that's a different thing nigeria once you have voted and is void is void is void is void you can't go back but here there's an opportunity to go back and apply for a new voting paper another key difference is the election process now it's similar in terms of you know you have to campaign you have to get people to spread the word and get people to vote you and be interested in voting you you also have to get people to enroll so the issue of enrollment is not a nigerian problem it's also a new zealand problem i think generally because everyone feels that they are not being heard so don't worry it's not a nigerian problem only all around the world it's a problem but now how the campaign is vastly different from how we campaign in Nigeria. Nigeria campaign is a party. Okay? It can also be noise pollution. It can also be a nuisance. Where you have each person goes state by state, local government by local government, and feel work no, feel work no, feel work no, you know? That's how we say in our language. Feel work no. Then they'll mention whoever. And they make a whole lot of noise. They hire stadium. They don't even hire stadium. They take the stadium if they are the ones in power in that state and then whoa 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 do all their you know stuff that's it but here is very different it's really quiet the fact that you're campaigning doesn't mean that you should constitute a nuisance environment 
all you just see is you have the supporters carrying placards standing at traffic lights you know points where you're going to have a lot of people and have people stop for whatever reason and look around traffic so traffic lights are those big points and just occasionally waving i'm not saying they don't have those rowdy you know once in a while rowdiness they do have it but yeah and similarly like nigeria once election comes you can campaign again so here once voting starts on that second as a person you can't actually campaign again people can campaign on your behalf that's their own cho choosing but you that is a candidate you can't campaign again so the day before the election started i was going on and i saw so many cars i was like ah, ah. are they protesting because they were tractors and you know farmers once in a while protest because of whatever policies that don't favor them and i thought they were protesting only for me to get and so oh it's actually campaign <laughs> it was really nice to see the actual voting process itself is different so in new zealand i've talked about the process in another video so go and watch that video i'm going to put the link in the description box and the link is going to be showing right now at the top corner of this video but in nigeria this is a process so like i said we don't start voting early we vote on the election day and just like new zealand there is a time frame when voting starts and when voting closes new zealand closes by seven but nigeria is earlier than that and then in nigeria you will go to your polling unit you will line up so the presiding officer that is in charge of queue this is in an ideal situation no? <laughs> well you all make you queue so you guys will line up face come face safe basis and then you have another assistant presiding officer that takes care of verification to verify that you are you another one would do check the voters register to see that you are on the list that that is your right pulling unit because there's one thing for you to be you then there's another thing for that to be your pulling unit so those two things actually happen hand in hand anyway and when that verification officer checks that first of all you are the one secondly you are in the voters register for that pulling unit then another assistant presiding officer would put a, an ink on your hand to show that you've been checked then you go and line up to vote so in new zealand the um, pulling uh, sorry voting place as it's called here they have different they call it private voting screen so they have different cubicles nigeria depending on the pulling unit you have one to two the pulling unit that i was at had one okay so everyone lines up queues for that again another system preceding officer is supposed to take care of that queue and once that happens you go and you vote same thing hidden but in this case there will be ink stamp you know those stamp ink where you put your hand on the ink and then thumb print on your ballot paper so make sure that you thumb print in the box and not on the line because the moment you thumb print on the line that ballot paper is void so that's the difference in the electoral process like i said go and watch the other video to know how it happens in new zealand so similarly you cannot take photos of your ballot paper you're not supposed to take photos in that area actually in new zealand same thing you are not supposed to take photos inside around where they are voting photography is not allowed that's why if you watch that video you see that i did not have footage of the voting place it's a very nice experience and it's a good experience at least it gives you gives me an idea of what election can be like back home because we had election in nigeria this year in february march and this year our polling unit did not have issues sha no actually it did it did it did someone came and did nonsense yeah it actually did but most in my state though most polling units did not really have issues because they already knew who they wanted to vote well majority of the people knew who they wanted to vote so most polling units did not have issues i'm not saying there were no problems there were issues but in some states ah it was war it was problem you had people snatching ballot boxes these are those plastic containers snatching destroying so many things i haven't seen that here in saying that i'm not it's possible that it's happening somewhere else but if at all it happens in short i feel like where they predict that there'll be violence there's going to be police presence in that area 
but luckily where i went to was smooth i just went from lunch just walked in did everything came back five minutes i was done those are the key differences between election in my beloved country and election in my new home election in nigeria and election in new zealand the funny thing is that here there are actually two parties that are competing with each other labor and national in new zealand in nigeria there were three i think in this last election save there were actually two the third one was just living in past glory don't come for me please but they actually two but you can see that there are three because they pulled they pulled numbers so there were three big parties but actually two were against really against each other because two were very strong the the third one was strong in certain states here they are two parties that are competing against each other then after those two you have three no actually one two three four 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 so labor and national head on those are popular the next level is nz first act te party maori and green yeah those are the four so that's the differences and similarities between election in nigeria and election in new zealand let me know if this is similar to election in your own country in the comment section and um see you in the next one may the best man win bye